What is up, you guys? All right, today we're doing something a little bit different. We're gonna try a trend that I've been seeing everywhere that, to be honest, kind of made me roll my eyes a little bit because I was like, okay. It's the latte makeup look. And really, the reason I rolled my eyes is because it's really just like super bronzy, lots of tans and browns, like a latte. I mean, that's all it is, guys, that's it. And so, that's what we're gonna do because I, I really I don't typically do this kind of video, but I wanted to do it because there are a few techniques in here that are really different than what I typically do, and I wanted to try them. I thought you might be interested in them too. We're also trying a couple of products that either I haven't used in a while um, or that are new to me. So there's a lot of people that have been doing this trend. I'm gonna kind of follow what Hailey Bieber did just because that was the original one I saw. And so I collected a lot of the products she's using. I did get PR from Rode, which is her line. I would have just used something else if I didn't have this um, because the things she used in this video, of course this, like I said, this is her skincare line. So of course she's using it. Um, she used the glazing milk and then she also used her ever popular peptide glazing fluid. I've used this a couple nights now just to try it out because I have been curious. So we're gonna dive in. So the first thing she does is she puts on the peptide, no, no, the glazing milk. So this is kind of like, yeah, press it onto your face. It's um, an essence basically. And so it is more like liquid. It kind of does look like milk. And you would do this like right after cleansing in theory. Like I said, I don't really have strong feelings about this either way yet. I just started using it. But um, I typically, whatever's left over, I just put on my the backs of my hands. It does feel nice. I mean, I like essences. I feel like they're one of those things that can feel very pampery when you use them. A lot of times it's something I will cut out if I'm running low on like uh, my skincare routine, morning or night. That's something I will leave out. But if I've got a little extra time, I mean, it obviously takes like a matter of seconds, but it feels nice. I'm gonna let that kind of dry for a sec. So the next thing she does is she puts on her peptide glazing fluid. So this is the thing that's like, it's sold out a lot. I never remember. Okay, yeah, you do just pull it. Um, so it's kind of like a, I would call it a serum. I appreciate it. I have to say I was pleasantly surprised because these don't have a fragrance. And I'm so thankful for that because I feel like, and I know, like I like certain things to smell good. Like I like when a lip balm, and we'll talk about hers, smells good and things like that. But with skincare, I don't really want it to have a smell. I don't need that extra irritant. And I know not all of them irritate in the same way. And But it's just my own personal thing. So I was excited that these didn't have any scent to them. So it, I would not say, I mean, it definitely adds a glow. But like I said, I'm still kind of using it and deciding if I like it. This is very new to me. So total first impression. So I promise we're getting into the like fun, juicy stuff. So right off the bat, she starts doing something so interesting. Apparently it's a, um, I know a lot of makeup artists do this method, but Mary Phillips is the one I think that does her makeup from time to time, if I'm remembering right. And it's her method. So, or at least she's one that does this method. Basically you'd put your contour on, then your concealer and then foundation on top. And even within that, there are some interesting things I saw her do and I cannot wait to try them. So we're gonna start with the cream contour. This is what she was using, the Makeup Forever um, HD Skin All-in-One Face Palette, which I happened to have and I have not used it a ton, so I'm excited to use it again. Um, and I'm gonna apply it with this brush. This is the Anissa Beauty Buffing Bronzer. I finally have been using these for a while. You've probably seen me use them in the past like video or two. But the reason I wanted to try this brand is because both Taylor Wynn and Juicy Jazz have been using them like crazy. And so I was, I had a bunch of these in my cart. I posted on my Instagram about it, asking you guys your favorites. And Anissa reached out and offered to send me some. I was like, okay, I mean, yeah, I was about to click buy, but yeah, sure. Anyway, but they did give me a promo code. It's 15% off if you want to check it out. I think the coupon code is Jess B. This is definitely one of my favorites. The concealer one's another fave we'll talk about, but yeah, I wanted to mention it because I have been loving it and I've used it like silently in videos. So she doesn't show exactly how she applies a lot of these steps. This feels so weird. Ooh, that's dark. I'm using the like mid bronzer, but I want it to be enough. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> so much. <laughs> Just trust the process. Cause she had like already blended it a bit by the time we got to that point. So let me wipe off the excess. 
and then we're just gonna kind of blend it. I don't wanna blend it too much because there's gonna be something we put on top that I feel like kind of makes it look a little more put together. This is orange on my skin, y'all. How do I look? Oh my gosh, okay. It just feels weird to put the bronzer, cream contour, whatever on top of just like a moisturized base. It just feels odd. Oh, y'all, I brought it in like way too far. It just feels weird to not have anything underneath. Okay, does anyone do their makeup this way? Um, next thing she did before we blend that too far, she put concealer on. Now, I don't have any, I know I have it somewhere, the Hourglass Vanish Concealer. I think I got rid of mine because it was super old. I actually really like it and that's what she's using. I don't currently have it, so we're gonna use the Natasha Denona High Glam Concealer that I love, but let me see where she places it. So... It's kind of interesting. She places it um, here. Okay, just like a big glop there. Ooh, I need a little help there. Um, a little bit there. I'm always interested in where people place things. Okay, put a like lot over here. And then up here, fascinating. And here, and here, and then a little bit up here. So she uses a really soft brush, it looks like, to kind of blend it. Trying to decide which of mine makes the most sense. Will you, well, actually I wasn't gonna use this. This is one from Anissa, I haven't tried as much, so I don't really have strong feelings, but it's kind of perfect because it's super soft. So this isn't sponsored. I feel like it's sounding sponsored, it's not. So we're just kind of blending it in and blending that into the contour to kind of help blend it. I don't know if there's a certain order to this or, I never blend concealer in with this big of a fluffer. <laughs> I don't know how she did this up here, so I'm just kind of, okay, no. We need something a little more specific, so then I'm gonna pull in my concealer brush. This is the Anissa concealer brush I like, by the way. So I feel like I need to kind of, so that definitely helped, but it ain't perfect. Okay, first of all, I have never done that before. Like, I feel like my face already looks, other than a little bit of blending with the con uh, contour, just doing concealer in those places, my face already looks like it's got some good coverage. Like that is pretty cool, I have to say. She adds a lot more bronzer, so stay tuned. So she mixes a the new Hourglass Skin Tint, which I don't have yet, it's on my list. Let me know if you've tried it and your thoughts. She mixes a skin tint with her glazing fluid. So we're gonna do that. I've certainly never done that. I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Age Perfect Skin tint, I love this stuff so much, so much. Um, I'm just gonna do one, cause I don't, I don't know. I feel like skin tints are already kind of moisturizing, so now what she did, I'm gonna use that same fluffy brush. This is the part I found so interesting. She got a little bit of it on and then literally swirled it on her face. And that action alone, I found absolutely fascinating. I have to say, I definitely feel that a lot of the bronzer like that she had put on or the contour underneath definitely kind of disappeared when she did this. But again, we're adding a bunch more on, but the only thing is it made me question, is that first step even necessary with the way she did it? Do you know what I mean? But I like the idea of just using like a soft brush to kind of lightly buff on the, the face product. But do you see what I mean? Like a lot of that contour went away. Now it's just kind of like in my hairline. I just don't know that I love this formula. I think that's a piece of it too. Of course the shade is not great, but you know. But my skin, I have to say, is looking real, real healthy. So, hmm, that might be a thing. The brush was the multi-powder. All right, so here's where a lot of the bronzing comes in. So she takes a bronzer powder of some kind, and I think I'm gonna switch over because she. it does look like she's using the, um, Tom Ford like duo. I'm gonna switch over to this. This is the Danessa Myricks Contour Balm. And we're gonna use this because I think shade wise it's a little bit better. And it looks like she just kind of puts a bunch here. I love this balm because it's so like lightweight, but she puts a bunch, looks like where she would place her blush, honestly. And then she put a little bit on her nose. Might be too much. Now I look like the scarecrow. <laughs> Skip, 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 better. And it looks like she applied a little bit more up here. So we're gonna do that too. And she didn't actually show it, but it definitely suddenly looks bronzier than it was 
the clip before. So that's the thing. I mean, it's a TikTok. It's super short. So you really don't see all the steps. There's definitely a lot skipped. But here's the thing I thought was interesting. She takes her brush. This might be too big. Let me get a smaller one. And she sweeps it on her eye. And I thought that was so pretty and easy, like using a small, but like bigger than an eyeshadow brush brush. And she kind of sweeps it out. And I'm like, why in the world have I, I've done like bronzer on the lid, that's nothing new. But with a cream one and like just using a bigger brush and just dabbing it up there really fast, I thought was so pretty and it kind of almost connects out. Boy, that glazing fluid is not a joke. Like I'm gonna need to powder this for sure. I'm looking real, real greasy. Ooh. So then she like taps on some kind of cream shadow. I have a blog post I'd found. I'm gonna look at that and see if it says what she was using in this next step. So at some point she gets another shade from this to kind of sculpt out the crease a little bit more. Um, I'm gonna use the lighter one at first just to kind of see if that, no, that doesn't really show up. So we'll go with the one I originally started with. It's definitely light though. Like, I mean, it's, whoops, that's too much. I feel like it all really does blend together really nicely and nothing looks like any like harsh lines, I don't think. And of course she's got like absolutely perfect poreless skin. <laughs> but it looks like there's something glowy on. So I might grab, cause it definitely looks like there's more going on. So I think I'm gonna grab a little bit of this like contour and tap it on and then put a little bit of the highlighter in this and tap it on top of that. Cause it definitely looks almost pearly what she's got going on. It's so pretty. Yeah. I am sure these are gonna crease like crazy. I don't know though, the one thing, I, I don't love this for like the contours cause I feel like it's not as easy to blend, but because they are a little bit of a drier cream, maybe they won't crease as much. I guess time will tell, baby. She definitely blended it kind of like out and up, like towards the temple a little bit. We are looking bronzed and very oily. So then she takes like a light brown pencil and does it on her under eye. I don't really have one that's just right for this. These are all dark. I'm gonna go with this bronzy shade just cause I feel like it'll be pretty. It's from Persona. And I'm just gonna kind of lightly do it down there. Cause I love a brown eyeliner, but most of mine are like really dark. And I'm just gonna kind of blend it with my finger a bit to soften it. So then she takes powder and this is the, I'm like wondering, she used a lot of hourglass, so it makes you wonder, I don't know. Um, anyway, if there's like a, if it was a brand deal, but it doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't look like it is. Um, this is the hourglass veil powder. I do really like this a lot. So it looks like she applies it with a sponge. We're going with a dry sponge. Um, I don't typically use powder up here. Well, that's not true. I don't typically apply powder this way or with like loose powder all the time, but I'm gonna give it a whirl. And then she does like a light, a light bake here. I need more powder than that girl. <laughs> so then it looks like she hasn't, okay. I don't think she's dusted. I'm gonna dust off the stuff on my under eye cause I can't leave that there too much longer. I know myself. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and dust it off. It looks like she adds a little bit bl of blush there on the cheeks, but it also looks like she adds um, a little bit more bronzer to the cheeks first. So I'm like, all right, another layer, <laughs> layer it on. So I'm gonna put on just a little bit more of the bronzer, maybe a little bit too much. And then she used a pink blush. It doesn't say what she used. So I'm just gonna grab the Tarte uh, cream blush, their new cream blush in rose. And I'm just gonna tap a little bit just like she does. This formula is really unique, but it's pretty, but it's like way, like you touch it, your finger can go to the bottom. Like it's, it's really, it's different than like any other cream blush I have, but I do like it. My favorite brush to apply it is this Real Techniques one, their tapered cheek blush. This is my new favorite go-to um, cheek application, like cream liquid blush. It is, it's the best I've ever tried. I cannot believe. I didn't try this until recently and I'm like, oh my gosh, like that makes, it looks good with every cream blush. It's unreal and it's just seamless. Anyway, so if you are in need of a good one and you've felt dissatisfied, try this one. I think you will absolutely love it. All right, what's left? So then it looks like she taps on top of that 
I don't have it. I gotta go get it. Like a um, shimmery blush on top. I honestly am gonna skip that, y'all, because we have got so much going on, like glow wise, that I think if I add any more, it's just gonna get it's just gonna get silly. All right, what's next? Okay, she dusted away her bake. I already did that. All right, some clear brow gel. I think she was using the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel, which I love. I don't have a full size. This is like a little mini baby size, but I love this stuff. It really holds your brows in place so well. Yeah, I've loved this stuff for years. Okay, and then mascara. She's using the Hourglass Unlocked. I just wanted to try a new one today, so that's what we're gonna do. This is the Clinique High Impact Mascara. I've been meaning to try this. It's been around for ever. It's a classic, but I've just never tried it, or if I have, I don't remember trying it. So we are gonna, I need a little, little mirror here. I definitely feel like she had like a volumized lash, but it was still natural looking, so this might be like, the perfect mascara because it's definitely giving very natural looking vibes. So while I'm doing this, have you guys felt inspired by this trend? Like, have, first of all, have you even heard of this latte makeup trend? I get fed a lot of this kind of stuff because of the algorithm on like any app I'm on because obviously I'm looking at makeup stuff and fashion stuff and trends. And so I feel like I get fed a lot of this stuff based on that and so Perhaps I hear about things that you guys haven't, but I, I think this one's been big enough for a while that a lot of you guys have probably heard about it. I've definitely seen other YouTubers talk about it and do stuff relating to it. What's interesting though is like, it's in theory, I guess, a summer trend, but I'm like, I feel like it's a fall trend. It's, we're talking about coffee folks, but like the bronzy skin, I could see where it's maybe more summery, but I don't know. I mean, literally the idea of a latte makes me think of the fall. This uh, mascara is definitely like low key. I'm finding myself wanting just a little bit of tight lining there. Ooh, no, sharpen that. I scraped my eyeball. I'm excited to do the lips here in a second. I am gonna get a little bit of this powder and do my um, T-zone because this is, it's too much. I definitely need something to help combat all this shine. Like that's much better. You can definitely still see shine, but it's not quite as, quite as glowy. I'm gonna try to do one more layer of the mascara. I just want a little bit more. So she uses the Makeup Forever lip liner in Wherever Walnut, which I happen to have. And she just kind of lines her lips. Looks like she overlines them and fills, especially the upper lip, she fills in a lot. And then she adds on her peptide, no, what's it actually called? Peptide lip treatment on top of it just to add a glow. So let's give her a whirl. I actually already had some of that lip treatment on before we started just to have something on. It definitely feels more like a gloss than it does a lip treatment. Something to be aware of. I feel like it's kind of important to know. This shade is a really good neutral that still has a little bit of pink to it. It looks really brown on her lips. Uh, so it makes me question, because I read on a, a few blogs that it was uh, Wherever Walnut. Makes me wonder if it was actually Anywhere Caffeine, because it just, like when I look at it, I'm like, I don't know, which I have that too, but I'm just gonna trust the bloggers out there. I'm just kind of healing most of the lip. We'll overline a little bit. I'm doing this, this mirror is like pretty far away. All right, so then we're gonna put on the lip treatment. It smells like vanilla, which I do. I do like, wow. Oh wow, my lips look huge. <laughs> These look like my lips when I'm pregnant. <laughs> I do like the lip treatment though. So that was the whole look. This was it and then she was in, this was this was as close as I could get. She was in like this beige, like beautiful of course outfit, but this is, this is what I got guys. Like <laughs> I got this brown bodysuit. This is as close as we're getting. So this was fun. I feel like, hold on, I've got a little mascara. Um, thinking through like the actual process it was interesting. I think I will take forward with me using a fluffier brush mixed with something to apply my foundation. I really thought that was interesting and just kind of nice and different. This does not match the rest of my body. That's okay. Um, I just thought that was so interesting and unique. And for me, if I'm applying my foundation with a brush, I'm probably using like a thicker brush to like literally have that nice layer on. But to do it that way was just so freeing and I can't explain it. So I challenge you to try that. Grab a fluffier brush that you have and 
put the foundation on your skin, mix it with something or don't, but just give that a try, see how you like it. I'm definitely gonna be trying that again. I mean, probably tomorrow when I get ready. Um, a couple other things I've learned is that too much, it's too much glow with the, the glazing fluid and then mixing it in with the other thing. Like for me, that's way too much. She also, at least in the video, didn't use SPF. So therefore I don't have SPF on. That's usually something I do wear daily. So like figuring that out within this. What else? I've also determined I really just don't love the formula of this Make It Forever product. It's a lot of options, which is really cool. And you've got some like con concealer things and stuff. It's just okay. Oh, why didn't I use the pink in this for my blush? Duh. Anyway, so I, I would just say like, I currently own it. I'm not planning on getting rid of it yet, but I wouldn't like go out and seek to buy it. Has this mirror been in here the whole time? I also learned again that I really do like the Danessa Myricks contour balm. I just think it's so, it, I just feel like the, the tone of it is really nice for my skin, but it just is so easy to apply with a brush. It blends in really easily, especially when I compare it to the Make It Forever one. Um, and if you were looking at like, the Rode skincare line. I, I really like the lip treatment. So like if you were placing an order, I, I would throw this in because it's looking really pretty just as it is, but it's been really comfortable to wear throughout the day and it smells so nice. So like add that to it. I feel like my lips are looking not lined at all. Oh my gosh. So yeah, this is, I really am enjoying this. I don't know, like with the essence and the glazing fluid, if you're someone that has drier skin and you really do want that glow, you might consider it. I don't know that you need it all. I'm gonna continue. I also have the like cream, the rich face barrier cream. I've been kind of weaving this into my skincare routine and like every other night doing this whole thing. So I'll keep using it and let you know. Let me know if you've tried any of these and your thoughts. Oh, and since we did try a new, the Clinique High Impact Mascara, new to me, it's definitely just a supernatural mascara. So I think if you're into that, you'd probably like this. This is not gonna be a go-to for me, but I do think it's pretty. Like it, people like this for a reason. You have to like this kind of really low key, like definitely can tell I'm wearing makeup, but like, you know what I mean? Like mascara, but it's not so obvious. And I think that's pretty cool. So there you go. I hope this was fun. This was just something I wanted to kind of switch up what I was doing. And this trend, of course, you know, I love coffee, but I also love, trying out celebrity routines. I've been doing my Vogue Celebrity Secrets videos for a few years now. I need to do another one soon, although this kind of took the place. I'll probably put this on that playlist of that, but um, definitely need to do another one soon. But if you wanna check those out, I've actually done one of Hailey Bieber and she's doing her makeup differently in that. So um, yeah, but I've done a lot of different celebrities. If you wanna check it out, I will link that playlist. Those are so much fun and a little more in depth with how and why they do their makeup a certain way. And, and a lot of them will talk about the actual products too, which is cool. So I'm just, I'm just yammering on. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please subscribe, stick around. I got lots more videos coming your way very soon and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.